Bro, I just bought three tacos. And I got a full plate of food, a full plate of breakfast food. But let's get into it, coach. Hey, what is good, A hey, team? It's your boy T Nae, bro. Y'all, if y'all couldn't tell from the title today, we got an exclusive food review. Um, now, first of all, I know your boy need a cut. That's coming in the next few days, but that's beside the point. Today, we are here for a Taco Bell quesalupa uh, food review. Now, I was literally, I'm just on my phone. I think I was on like Twitter or something like that. I don't know. I got a random notification from Taco Bell because I got their, their app downloaded to my phone. It was like, uh, try the new case of Lupa or something. I click on it and you got to go under your rewards. Now, for anybody who got the, uh, the, the app download, I'm not sure if this is exclusive access for everybody. Um, it may be, it may not be, but either way, bro. You feel me? We got that thing right there. I'm going to probably slide it up here somewhere for y'all. But uh, Case of Lupa exclusive early access. Be one of the first to try the Case of Lupa. Expires 3-11, so March 11th at 3.59 a.m. So basically, it's only out for one day. I just got the notification this morning. I'm going to try to post this video as early as I can today for all the ones who might want to go and try it today, just in case it's in your app. Um, but it says Case of Lupa early access challenge is only available on March 10th and redeemable only via Taco Bell Ta Taco Bell mobile app for in-store drive-through pickup orders. For in-store or drive-through pickup orders. Um, no limit on the number of the times the challenge can be completed. So basically you can order this as many times as possible. I'm low-key thinking about ordering three, doing the beef, steak, and chicken, but I don't know, coach. I want to do all three because I did that the last time we did a Chalupa video. Um, but we gonna see on that one. You feel me? We gonna see. We gonna find out once I sit down with the bag. I'm gonna decide how I'm gonna do it. Um, but yeah, man, this is early access. Like I said, it was only, well, actually I searched this on YouTube. Some people did re reviews like three to four years ago. So I'm guessing this was a product then, um, that was like a limited time thing and now they bringing it back. So hey, bro, we trying to be one of the first few to check this out. Um, really, I ain't got too much else to say, though, doing a little bit too much talking and my arm getting tired from holding this camera. So I'm about to head on up here to Taco Bell, pick this up, and I'll catch y'all when we get back, Coach. You feel me? All right, Coach, we done made it back. As y'all can see, I'm in a different setting today. Your boy's at work, so, hey, you got to make it work, Coach. You feel me? Why do us to be asking, hey, bro, man, where you work at, man? It looks like you're a teacher. I work at my parents' daycare center, bro. Well, I'm a photographer and videographer, but I work here on the side as well. A little kitchen situation, you feel me? Don't worry about too much of that. We're here for the food. Now, first of all, let me give y'all a breakdown of how much this came up to. Because um, it was a little pricey. $12.27 before tax, $141 for tax. So the total, I think, was like $13. Hold on, I got the total right here. $13.68. But I did get $3 different case of lupus um now the regular beef one was just 349 i got the chicken one that was 429 so that added like 80 cent 60 or 80 cent i think it was 80 then i got the steak as well which added a dollar extra so 349 for the regular would be 429 for the chicken 449 for the steak um so that is a little on the pricey side but of course like i said i got the steak and all that normally I feel like most people would just go with the beef option. But, um, and I got a breakdown here of what the actual case of Lupa is for the ones who might be wondering. Let me get y'all a quick little, um, simply put, this is the cheesier per bite perfection Taco Bell fans have been waiting for. The case of Lupa takes the chewy flaky shells that makes the Chalupa so iconic and turns up the flavor. We filled that shell with pepper jack and mozzarella cheeses and topped it off with seasoned beef, crisp lettuce, tomatoes, reduced fat sour cream, and real shredded cheddar cheese. Okay. Now, bro, what, first of all, before we can get into this, let's bow our heads. Plastic food in the hands that prepared it. I said you remove any impurity and all the things that may be in this food that will be nourishment to my body, and I ask that you would be a blessing 
to each and every individual around this world that may not have a meal to eat, Lord. Thank you for continuing to provide for me, and I ask all these things in your precious son. Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen, and bless your name. I always got to bless over the food, you feel me? But, um, so I pull up the Taco Bell. It's about four cars in the drive through so I say, you know what, let me just go inside. Don't like there's nobody in there. So I walk in, the lady who's on the headset doing a drive through uh, like, it took maybe about two minutes before she turned and saw me. She turned around, I was like, oh, well, you can uh, order on the on the kiosk over there, or uh, you're just going to have to, uh, to, to uh, wait until we're finished with the drive through I'm like, okay. Like, I placed my order on the mobile app, so I'm just like, okay, I'm just waiting for a second. Of course, I'm turning, looking outside. There's one to two cars pulling up every other minute. She never turns back. Boy, I would say about four more cars pulled up before she actually turned back to me. I was like, well, uh, it, it, it's uh, still going to be a, a uh, while for your order and this and that because, you know, we're trying to take care of drive through And I'm like, you know what, I understand it's COVID. So y'all putting a little bit more emphasis on drive through than walking, but I'm like, either way, so when, when she said that, I'm like, I placed a mobile order. Huh? huh? Would you say? Would you say? I'm like, are you are you upset? Like, I placed a mobile order. What are you talking like? Oh, Alan? Yeah, Alan. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I'll go ahead and get you in, and then her mood kind of switched up. I'm like, are you mad at me because I came inside? But then it was even crazier because there was a guy who pulled up for a DoorDash or something, and then she told them to come inside. Like he was trying to order. She was like, if if it's for uh, if it's for pickup, like food pickup, like DoorDash or something like that, tell them come inside. I'm inside. You barely paying me any attention to this, dude. What you talking about? But either way, bro, it is what it is. Feel me? I understand it. Like I said, I understand people putting more emphasis on the drive-through. But it is what it is. Let's get to this stuff. This thing feels hefty, coach. This is the beef one. Hold on, bro. I want to break this open without spilling everything. Of course. As y'all can see there, you got your beef down there, your lettuce, tomatoes, basically your normal stuff. But let's go ahead and take a bite of the beef. We're going to do the beef, the chicken, then the steak. Now, the last chalupa I had with the beef was pure disgusting. I actually had never had the steak, but I tried the steak with those toasted cheddar chalupas. I tried the steak, chicken, and beef, and that steak was the standout part. That was my first time ever trying Taco Bell steak, so I expect that one to be the standout. But let's see what this beef talk about. Mm. This is hot, too. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't see no cheese in between this, uh, this taco, though. see no cheese in between the taco ain't that what the description said we filled the shell with pepper jack and mozzarella cheeses now the actual shell does definitely a little bit more soft I get oh you did get two sauces that hot in that fire. This one here, though, on that toasted cheddar chalupa, I got that fire sauce that mess was hitting. First time trying that. This feels a little heavy, like it might be steak. Oh yeah, that's the steak. We don't, we don't, we don't wait on that. That's the, that's the big one. No way they did me like this. I thought I was missing a chalupa sitting in my lap the whole time. Uh. Alright, coach. 
Again, let me show y'all what we working with. As you see there, we got the chicken up in there. It really looks kind of light on the chicken. Now, this thing feels like it's heavy, but I think it's the actual shell itself. But like I said, you don't really see no cheese or nothing in there. It's a little gooey, so it's like, did y'all mix it into the... I don't know how they did it, bro. It says it's mozzarella and pepper jack in there. I don't see no cheeses in it. Who knows? This chicken, this chicken one I probably wouldn't get again. Now I wanted the best, if you have not tried Taco Bell's Bacon Club Chalupa, bro, go try it. That was probably the best taco I've had from Chalupa, period. A Chalupa was already my favorite. But that Bacon Cheddar Chalupa, which we did a review to that, if you haven't seen it, I'll drop a link up there. Bruh, whatever sauce they put on there, that mess is hitting the bacon with it, every, bruh. Go try it if you ain't try it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to take one more bite of this. We're going to move on to the state. That chicken is not it. I can kind of taste some of that cheese in the shell, though. Like once you start biting it, I feel like it's it's like infused in it almost. I don't know. The chicken wasn't it was it was okay, but it's probably gonna be my least of all of these. My least favorite. Got the steak. Y'all see it? It ain't nothing too crazy. It's really just a regular chalupa with a different shell. I'm being honest. But the shell though. Like that there, I think that's a part of some of them cheeses that's infused into the actual uh, shell itself. The shell is like real, it's like doughy or gummy almost. I would say gummy or doughy in a good way though. It's not, it's not bad. So meat, as far as the meats go, let me try this beef one more time. The steak one is the best still. Steak is still the best one. That beef is okay. But like I said in the toasted cheddar chalupa reaction, <clears throat> once you try the steak and then take a bite of the beef again, it's not even the same. It's not the same at all. Mm. But yeah, I mean, is this really something to be too, too hyped about? Not really. If I'm being honest, I would take a toasted cheddar chalupa over this. Or a, um, a bacon club chalupa. Now, if you gave me a bacon club chalupa on this shell, that's a home run. You feel me? That's a home run. Or the, even the, the toasted cheddar. Give me this same exact shell, but the outside. <clears throat> 
with the cheese like the toasted cheddar chalupa. It's going crazy because the actual shell is good. I like the, the consistency of it to go along with the actual meats inside of it, but overall it's just not, it's nothing too crazy. You feel me? I just spent $13 on three tacos for that. It was okay. <clears throat> but I spent 13 again, heck no. But either way, bro. That was just my thoughts on it. I want to come with this review for y'all. By the time I'm posting this, it'll probably be probably like close to one o'clock. So if y'all seeing it, be sure to check on your Taco Bell app because I don't think they have this on their menu at all. I believe you got to order it through the mobile app. Um, y'all go ahead and check it out if y'all think this would be something y'all would like. Like I said, the shell is good. Everything on the inside is a regular chalupa setup just a new shell and like i said for the shell it said it was pepper jack and mozzarella infused which once you start eating it you can kind of taste that that like chewiness to it um like it's cheese in there but you don't really see it you feel me but either way bro i just wanted to bring this to y'all um like i said i seen it pop up on my app this morning so i figured i'd go ahead and knock out the review since it was only valid for the day anyways but y'all get down there in the comments let me know what y'all thought about it let me know if y'all will be trying this out um our last food review we actually did i think like two three days ago was to burger king's new hand breaded crispy chicken sandwich the spicy and the classic if you haven't seen that i'll drop a link up there definitely be sure to go check that out now my words in that video for that spicy one i was rocking with it because of the sauce i tried it again last night for the second time it was not the same i don't know if that was just a, a one-off situation but either way bro it is what it is Appreciate you if you're still here rocking with your boy. Be sure to drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, smack, <clears throat> smack that like button. But hey, bro, we on the road to 20K subscribers, 18. Appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch you on the next video. I got a box. It came with a box. I need a box. To sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze. And I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like N and I.